what's up? Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation. Never settle for average. You know we do it over here. Go to BigHerc916.com, pick you up some merch, represent, and grab you a hoodie, a t-shirt, a tank top, or bar soap, and wash your ass. And it's going down August 27th. We're having another private men's panel. If you want to get hooked up with the Zoom for 1 p.m. Mountain Time, Arizona Time, hit me up at info.bigherc916 at gmail.com. No censorship, no trolls, no bullshit. Just men talking about real shit. So holler at me, info.bigherc916 at gmail.com. August 27th. Um, I'm going to keep you laced up over here, man, and spit a lot of things that range from things that'll make you laugh to things that'll make you think. And right now, Western Europe is having some problems. France in particular. Yeah, their colonial empire is crumbling. And as it should be, they've been exploiting the hell out of Niger for decades and um it's just about to stop as the niger military have just um did a coup and they're telling france to get the hell out man so if you're not hip to it i'm gonna give you a little game on it they said uh sections of the military have staged a coup against mohammed bozam niger's democratically elected president just before the 3rd of August, the country's national day when it marked 63 years since gaining nominal independence from France in 1960. So France colonized Niger and they've been draining Niger of all its gold and all its uranium. Niger is very rich in natural resources, but 90% of the population in our country are dirt poor. Uh, France still has uh, 1,500 troops in Niger and they've been threatening to invade if they don't put the president they want back in power. Now, in addition to France wanting to secure its uranium plug, the United States spent half a billion on a military base there, a drone base in particular, and they spend roughly 30 million a year maintaining that base. So, man, there's a lot of invested Western interests from the United States and Western Europe because a lot of Western Europe gets its uranium from Niger. Um... The leaders all viewed Africa as France's precar or backyard, a metaphor dating back to the pre-revolutionary monarchs to refer to conquered territory that needed defending. Niger, for example, is the world's seventh largest uranium producer and France, which relies on nuclear energy for around 70% of its power, is a key importer. Um, in addition to that, it's saying here that uh, Beyond this, the outright corruption that has played a part in maintaining a post-colonial order, Frank Carfreak has compromised countries notorious for human rights violations, including Niger. Subservient puppet leaders ignored democratic progress in return for massive aid programs. Bribes have been paid via arms deal and others helped with security and of course, in hard cash that has been laundered. So, it's a very uh, corrupt regime over there. And um, the people, they can only take so much of that. And they feel that now has been the time for them to, uh, you know, take back what's theirs, man. And um, you can't really be mad at them for what they're doing. I mean, to be living in poverty and to have such natural resources in addition that they don't have their own they don't have their own currency 
So the colonial dollar, which France renamed that they utilize in Niger, all of us kept in Paris in their reserves. So how does that work? That means they have no reserve currency in their country. On top of it, France has the fourth largest gold depository in the world, and yet they produce no gold, but Niger has a significant gold uh, reserve as far as resources and literally all of it's being ex exploited from their country and they have no gold reserve in their country. How does that work? Doesn't work fair. Doesn't sound like it. You tell me. See, a lot of people don't really pay attention to Africa because, you know, they don't want to empower Africa. And I've, I've done a video about this before where they look at Africa as just something to strip. And if they can get a resource out of there, then they'll set up some type of uh, infrastructure, but nothing that's going to give the people enough to get ahead, just enough to where they can sustain. Kind of like working for minimum wage at McDonald's. You'll never, you're never going to get ahead. You might just be able to barely keep a roof over your head if you have a roommate. And a lot of these neighboring countries over there, they're also feeling the same way. They feel if France invades, they're going to have France's back. Algiers, um, there's a couple other countries, I can't pronounce all their names, but there's a couple other countries right next to uh, Niger that's feeling the same way. And then there's a pipeline that has been constructed that was supposed to go through Niger to provide natural gas to Western Europe. Check this out. First, a story that no one's talking about is the massive pipeline that is nearly set to go online. Now, it starts in Nigeria. It flows through Niger on its way up into Europe. Chevron and the United States have already invested $13 billion into this pipeline. And guess what, guys? After the Nord Stream pipeline destruction, Chevron stepped up production to get this up and running. Hey, we'll speed, you know, we'll speed this up. We'll fast track this. And now the people of Niger are saying, wait a second. Why are we going to allow a pipeline to flow right through our country so Europe can have natural gas? You are doing nothing for us. You continue to steal from us. Sorry, no more pipeline. This is why. So, Niger is a major factor for resources being transported to Western Europe. And now we have this coup and they want their props. They want to be recognized. They're tired of being pimped. See, Belgium, they're another country that went through Western Africa and this pillage, man. You know, between them and France, I mean, in Algiers, they killed damn near half the population. Same thing in Congo. They didn't. They went through there and ravaged those places, man. And I believe in Algiers after World War II, they still had uh, concentration camps. They steadily suppressed those people and kept them in a, a colonial situation where anybody who tried to rise up or have equality was pretty much wiped out. These Africans ain't stupid, man. <laughs> they see the game. You see this was their salvation, this pipeline. And then add into it uranium and Europe's nuclear power. The United States gets over 50% of its uranium from Russia, despite all of the sanctions that the United States has placed against Russia. They left uranium off the list. I love this. I love that they chose to sanction every other thing, but they left uranium off the list because we need it so badly. We need it desperately. Why? The United States is so heavily dependent on Russia for uranium that Putin could literally flip a switch, literally destroy the American economy by turning off the lights. A major backup resource of uranium is Niger. The French, the United States, have been essentially stealing uranium from African countries for decades. And again, these countries are saying enough is enough. We are sovereign countries. Get out of here. 
We are going to keep our own minerals and make our own decisions. And Russia is giving them that option right now. We want you to keep your sovereignty. We want you to be an independent country, not a slave to the West. You see, they did Omar Gaddafi. You see, since Omar Gaddafi, since he's been gone, Libya is in shit. It's run by straight terrorists, and they have an open slave market over there now. And he was pulling to have an independent currency for the countries of Africa, which would have been in direct conflict with the Federal Reserve. So they had to knock him down. This game is big, man. It's a big game. You can do your research for yourself and you see, man, Africa, when it does rise up and become its own independence with the, with the other countries all working together and they push out whatever corruption and, and just malfeasance, man, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with because they can be fully independent. And if they get the right trade agreements, they can become a superpower. What people want is to gain back their wealth, the, back their ur uranium, their gold, their iron, their uh, phosphate, their oil, their gas. And this scares the West because this means the true democracy will take place in Africa when people actually own their own land and the wealth of Africa does not go untaxed, unsupervised from the mines in Niger to the banks uh, of Paris and the financial sector in Britain. And he's right. Yeah, they can become their own superpower. So we'll see what happens here. But believe that there's going to be some shit going down, especially with that pipeline, especially with uh, the uranium. They need that over there. <laughs> Europe has been stripping this, and then they haven't been taking care of the places they mine, and so you have all type of health conditions. You have all type of pro violations in general for how this stuff is being mined, and the people in the area who aren't being uh, properly uh, accounted for with the pollution. You know, the water over there is just straight shit. So, hey, um, I can't be mad at the West Africans for doing their thing, man. They, they, they seeing the big picture and they've been basically dealing with a foot on their neck for the last shit, 200 years. So pay attention because you might see some troops going over there from the U.S. depending on how all this plays out. But France is scrambling because they got to do something fast and quick because when winter hits and they can't get that natural gas from that pipeline, they can't get their uranium, and they want to keep getting that free gold, man, shit's going to hit the fan. Big Herc 916. Hey, after a hard day's work out here in the sun in Arizona, man, woo! I'm stinking it and I need to wash my ass. Go wash your ass. Go pick you up a bar at BigHerc916.com because uh, ain't nothing worse than um, uh, being sweaty and having to go wash your ass. Go to BigHerc916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car.